I already hate my first video, so we're making another. I'm gonna talk about each object that is contaminated and how to fix it. Hands, use a good antibacterial soap, hand sanitizer, gloves. Fingernails. Fingernails are just so full of grossness. Um, I will definitely be cutting mine, but also wearing gloves. Your mouth. Wear a mask. Your mouth is full of bacteria. Hair. If you have long hair like me, pull your hair back, wear a hairnet. Don't lean over your cultures or your station. Containers. You have to use a certain plastic and put these in the autoclave. Pets. Keep them out of your workspace. They are contaminated. I'm in my son's living room, so this is not where I work. <laughs> Media. Cook it longer or higher. Your tools. You can buy sterile disposable tools like this um, scalpel or put them in an autoclave. I know some people use um, pressure cookers um, to sterilize these too. Your surfaces. Clean the crap out of them, like bleach, alcohol, just Clean them like several times even before starting and clean anytime you touch something. Seriously, seriously. Clothing. I would never tissue culture in this. Um, you want to wear tight clothing, nothing that's gonna hang over and drop particles of your clothing into your workstation. Um, so like short sleeves, stuff like that. The air. How the hell do you clean the air? Use an air purifier with a HEPA filter, uh, Turn off your AC, close your vents, don't open windows and doors, no airflow. Flow hoods are amazing. They have a filter that filters out everything. Plants. Prep them stronger, cleaner. Sanitize them for a longer period. Properly sealing them will keep contamination out. Once you have closed these and properly sealed them, there's absolutely no way that contamination can get in this. So if you see contamination in a week or two, it's something you did wrong. You didn't clean your plants, um, your lab procedures were off, something like that. I think that's it. I cannot stress how difficult this step is.